In this video, I'm going to be starting a new series on the channel called Web Design for Idiots. And this series is going to cover web design, not HTML and how to code, but it's going to be design and making your site look good. So in this video, we're going to start things off with figuring out which kind of website you want to make, assuming you want to do a website. Uh, there's two basic designs. There is variable width like my site right now, which I will be replacing fairly soon. And there's fixed width, which um, does not change its size at all depending on your screen. So we'll start off with variable width. And there's some good parts to it and there's some bad parts. Um, a good part is uh, that variable width, depending on what you have in it, will scale to the screen size no matter what. So I've got some images, so those won't scale, but as you can see, I can get pretty small, and I still don't have a horizontal scroll bar. If I go in a bit farther, you can see I do. That's because I have these ads on the side and the twit stamp, which uh, doesn't scale itself. So that's one of the good things about variable width. If you have no images on your site, it should display fairly well on mobile devices like iPhones and stuff because it'll just scale down. Uh, it will be a lot of scrolling vertically though. Horizontal, or sorry, uh, fixed width is a bit different. It's mostly used for blogs and that kind of thing. Um, this is one that I've done for a science fair project. And as you can see, when you make the window smaller on a fixed width website, it gives you a horizontal scroll bar. And that's alright, but it's uh, kind of annoying. And this site here, its width is 850 pixels. Um, and here, it's, scroll it's scalable, so uh, the width is dictated by these images here. And there's a couple ways that you can do variable width sites. You can do everything in one uh, line, like the header and the menu and all that kind of stuff. Or you can do what I've done here on the beta version of my new site, and you can have a variable with header, and then your content can be fixed with. So you can see here, I can go fairly small, and I only start getting a horizontal scroll bar because of this menu image that I've put in here, which I might make scalable as well in the future. Um, also, for fixed width sites, you can make them display uh, bigger on different screen sizes with some JavaScript and CSS tricks, which I will show you in another video. So uh, now's the time, if you're going to stick with this series and uh, make a website, to figure out what you're going to do. Because I'm going to cover both um, kinds of sites in the future tutorials, but now is the time to decide what you want to do. And you can start to figure out what yours is going to look like and maybe get inspiration from other sites. So uh, thanks for watching uh, this quick video. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more future web design for idiots. Thanks for watching.